Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, the, we met the leader of the Abaddon, Death the Measle, who is the president's son. In this episode, we are going to uh, continue. We are going to continue looking for those printies so we can give them some sardines. It sounds like my parents are back from their trip finally. Anyway, let's move! Map 5, Disaster First. Man, the radicals finally show. They give you props for showing up instead of just running away. <laughs> and how dare you bark that nonsense after running away like a coward? Seems like you guys still don't know your place. This is your last chance! Either apologize and surrender, or take a beating and surrender. The choice is yours! Either way, your rebellion ends here, with me laying the smack down upon you. So take your pick now! This is it! I won't get a better chance than right now. Better not miss it. I don't want to die yet! Sarabizel, your highness, please help me! Wow! Everyone, look over there! The warden is determined to take the head of his arch enemy, Death the Measel! <laughs> huh? Huh? He's going to risk his own life for the pretties! His passion is indubitable! Oh, it's enough to bring tears to my eyes! Does he care for the police that much? I won't say a thing, Axel. Take him down so they can play your victory music! Huh? Is he coming after me? No! It's a... it's a mistake! Ah! <laughs> rascal. How could you do that to Ward and Axel? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> huh. But wait. This ain't right. My weapon shouldn't have... Ward and Axel. You'll always live on in my heart. Ipache. Axel, I shall carry on your legacy. I shall release those damn Prinnies in your name! Prinnies? You guys are rebelling against the corrupterment for the Prinnies? <laughs> yeah, so? Are you stupid? Prinnies are just the rotten souls of humans. How could you risk your lives for them? You're totally whack! This is ridiculous! <laughs> you still don't understand, huh? I pity you, rascal. Say what? Allow me to explain. There is a path that I must follow, no matter what others say to me. The path to believing in myself. This battle isn't about the printings. This battle is about keeping the promise that I made. This is a battle for sardines! It's a measle. S, huh? Does that mean he's the boss? Alright, as is traditional for this guy, let's, uh, let's kill ourselves against the chapter boss and see what happens. Forgive me. Because, I mean, something always happens when you die to the first boss, right?
there. You know what? Let's speed this up a bit. Why is Stella's defense that high? It's crazy town. <laughs> Poor him, Measle. He can't even do his job right. Is this? How could this be? Against a rascal like him? Lord Val, please get a hold of yourself. My lord mustn't let such an insignificant setback get to him. Uh, I won, right? This is Sir Measle's victory? Mission complete? So we, I, I did it, folks. Somebody's happy. so happy. Is it that exciting to have beaten us? This must be the first time the Weld has completed a mission, ever. That ain't true. Sounds like you were right, Benley. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You should be more concerned about your future. You'll pay for treating me like crap. You better prepare yourself for this. First, we'll start with tickle torture for three days, three nights, no breaks. There's no way out of this for you. The horror. Damn whelp. Hey now, you guys are the losers. You're in no position to call me whelp or rascal. Call me Sir Amizo, the only son of the president, Sir Amizo. Now say it, you pathetic, rebelling losers! Ugh. Sir Measle. What was that? I can't hear you. Say it louder. Son of the president. Sir Measle. <laughs> I knew it. I can do anything if I put my mind to it. I just didn't do it before because I didn't want to. I'm gonna keep doing it from now on! I'm gonna do it! After suppressing the Prinny Rebellion, led by a Prinny instructor, Death Amiza went on to imprison every single rebel from Hades, and carried out the mass extermination of the Prinnies. As a result, Prinny pollution within the Netherworld was resolved, and the Corruptorment earned much respect. 
Imizo continued to pursue his ambitions and establish Cerberus, the secret police of the Netherworld, to develop even more power. Any demon who spoke negatively about the Corruptment, or even about Imizo, as well as any demon who ate Imizo's least favorite food, fish, were arrested and made to pay a fine. To oppose Imizo's tyrannical whims, some fish-loving demons formed their own union, called Leviathan. The battle between Cerberus and Leviathan caused much bloodshed and brought chaos down upon the Netherworld. At that time, no one expected the Netherworld to be extinguished only a few years later. Well, that got dark pretty fast. Those credits sure are going by pretty fast. Since the dawn of time. Oh no, we are not watching this again. <laughs> this goes on way too long. Alright, so uh, yeah, that was one of the bad endings. <laughs> and now we gotta do a whole new cycle, so uh, I'm gonna d do a bunch of stuff and I'll be back to you in the next episode. See y'all then. Bye bye. <laughs>